Welcome back to the Anglers Extra pregame show. Time for the Manager's Show. I'm Max Herz, joined by Chatham skipper John Schiffner. Schiff, back from the day off. Yes, very nice. Beautiful day again. Hot as a booger, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's muggy, hot, teeth sweat day. You know, you kind of, your teeth get a little sweaty. You've had almost two full days since your pitching staff shutout streak was extended to 28 straight innings. What does it take to put together a streak like that? Good arms and a good pitching coach. That's, the, that's all I can say. Those arms are good. Those kids know how to throw, and, and Rob's done a terrific job. He's cleaned a few of them up, and, you know, there's nobody on that staff. We have, we, don't have, we have confidence in every one of those guys to come in in any situation. As that staff has improved, you mentioned there were some guys who struggled in the beginning. As it has come on one by one, what have you noticed most about the staff improving as a whole? Well, as a whole, they're, they're throwing more strikes. You know, they, weren't getting, they were getting behind in counts. Uh, weren't locating pitches when they had to. You know, there was a lot of 0-2 base hits, a uh, lot of lot of long counts. Uh, so it, you know, it's just they figured it out, as we like to say in coaching. And uh, it's been uh, it's been great to watch the last two weeks, and especially the last few games have been really special. What are some of the challenges of assembling a pitching staff in the modern Cape Cod League? Uh, pitch restrictions. Um, college coaches looking over your shoulder. Uh, you know, some of these guys want to throw. They want to go out and throw eight or nine innings, and the last thing their college coaches want them to do is to do that. They don't want to see them, you know, I would say the, the maximum pitch count is probably around 85. If you go over 85, there's a phone ringing going, okay, why? You know, they're not really upset until you tell them, well, why did you, why did you do that? What was, what was going on or whatever? Uh, that is, it is a challenge. That's why the league was smart a number of years ago to extend our rosters up to 30 so that we could keep, you know, so I don't know, whatever. We keep 16 pitchers. Uh, we've had 17, uh, 17 at one point, I think two or three years ago, we might have had 17.5 because we had a position player that could pitch if needed, like a, not like a Donovan Casey could do. Uh, it, it's real important. It really, really is important to, uh, you know, it, take care of the college coaches of what their needs are and what their wants are and then take care of the kid and you look at the kid and you see you know we have a pretty good idea as much as college coaches don't think summer coaches do we've got a pretty good idea about what's going on and we can read uh, we can read numbers and if we see you know numbers exceeding 75 and 80 in a college season then we know okay we're not going to run this guy out there as much as as some other guys guy comes in here with 45 innings pitch, we can run him out there for five or six innings. Where a guy comes in here with 85 innings pitch, well, he's going to get two or three innings and more time off. You know, we and as much as the college coaches don't know that, we we can read and write we, and and read numbers. We're pretty good at that. As you were putting this year's specific pitching staff together, when you were putting it together, what were some of the strengths and weaknesses you assessed? Well, no weaknesses. I mean, you you know, you don't expect a guy to be a weak guy. Um, we saw velocity. We saw some guys who were going to be, you know, top starters, weekend starters. We saw guys who were not going to do that. They're going to be middle relief guys. And we saw closers. And, you know, it's, it was just, I've always been of the school of taking the best players available. So if, you know, a, a guy I know or a scout I know or an agent or whatever says, you need to get this guy, okay, we'll take him and we'll figure out how we're going to use him because his usage could change by the number of innings he did or did not pitch during his college season. But we want the arm. We want an arm. Give me an arm, preferably 95 and above, well, you know, and, and we'll figure that out. But uh, give me a quality pitcher who can throw strikes and, you know, wants to come play baseball in Cape Cod. And then we'll figure that out. And we're, you know, if you look at our numbers, a lot of the guys are very, very similar to how many innings they have as far as what role they're doing. Are they a starter? Are they a middle guy? Are they a closer? And uh, I think the formula's worked. I haven't had too many, you know, bad feedback from anyone. It's the college coaches like it. The agents like it. You know, the kids like it. They're, you know, some of these guys are toast. It's, it's a long, long college season. And uh, some of these kids are like, you know, hey, 20, 25, 30, whew, that's fine, coach. That's great. I like that. And that's why we carry 16. One of your arms, Cameron Bishop, after a delay, signs out of the draft, signs with the Orioles. What's it like for you to see a pitcher throwing so well in Chatham and have that directly impact the start of his pro career so positively? That's fantastic. You know, we're glad we could help. I mean, he did not pitch this year at school. He's a medical red shirt. And to come down here and throw, what, 11 innings and walk away with a, you know, walk away with a nice pro contract, yeah, it's pretty good. Good for him. You know, we'll, we'll do this a little bit. Robbie, too. Robbie worked with him a lot. You know, that's uh, 
And, and you know what? I'm doing that in, in a little bit in jest. It's not just, it's the Cape Cod League. Pat the Cape Cod League on the back for what they provided for Cameron. I mean, they gave him an opportunity. We gave him an opportunity. He faced, you know, quality hitters, and he did a great job against them and convinced the Orioles that he deserves a nice bonus, and I couldn't be happier for him. 5-2 and two record last week, best week of the season record-wise so far. What has to happen for that to continue? Keep pitching. You know, keep pitching. The hitters have been really squaring the ball up. I mean, they've been getting, you know, clutch hits. They've been hitting the ball well, taking good at-bats. Uh, and the defense has been solid. Let's continue with that pitching. You know, the, I figured this out a long time ago. If you score more runs than the other team, then you win. So if we can continue to do that, we'll be just fine. When did you figure that one out? Uh, not too long ago, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured that out a long time ago. Just score more runs, and, you know, the, the, the less runs you give up, you're going to win. So if you have a real good hitting team and a real good pitching team, you're going to win a lot of games. Jacob Stevens on the mound for you tonight. What were his imp your impressions of his start against Katua last week? Did a nice job. Real nice job. Carried us through that game. Um, you know, he's improved each outing. You know, m more more control, better better location with his pitches. Uh, the velocity looks like it's where it should be. Um, he's, he's throwing very, very well, and it's just, you know, we'll just go get him. You know, go out there, throw your five or six innings, Jacob, and we'll, we'll bring somebody else in and we'll move along. But that's, he's accustomed to being a starting pitcher. He's done that for two years for Boston College. So this is, you know, that, that's his role, where some of these other guys' roles are a little bit different. So, but Jacob's a starter. He's done well. He's a two-year vet here. It's great to see him thrown. Jeff, thank you. No problem. No, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> That's your manager show with Adam Skipper, John Jeff Schiffner. His tongue. I'm, you good? I'm okay. I'm, I'll survive. All right, ready to roll. You got about an hour and a half to figure things out. Yeah, <laughs> John Schiffner, the Skipper of the A's. Back to Drew Carter for more on the Anglers Extra pregame.